and welcome back to my channel or hello if you are new. Today's video is one that I haven't done in a bit and that is a what I eat in a week video. I love doing these videos for a particular reason but I do just want to say before I get into this video a couple of disclaimers. One, if this is the kind of video that's going to trigger you, if it's gonna make you feel like you need to eat this way, to look a certain way, or any of those thoughts, feel free to click out of this video. I know these videos aren't for everyone and so if that's you, you don't have to watch. This is simply just for me to give you guys ideas of different meals. I don't eat a certain way. I have found that for me and my body and my mind, eating everything in moderation is kind of the key. I eat red meat, I eat dairy, I eat cheese, which is dairy, but I eat gluten, I eat kind of everything. And for me, whenever I start limiting food groups, that's when I get an unhealthy relationship with food. As you can see in this video, it's not super like healthy. I'm not just eating whole foods. I have pizza one night. And and that's just kind of life and that's how I eat. And so I just wanted to share this with you guys in case you're looking for certain meals. My dinner recipes are always my favorites to cook. I love just sharing kind of like what I'm making in the kitchen. So this is just a video for that. So if this is something you're interested in, feel free to keep watching. I do work from home and sometimes I get really engrossed in my work. So sometimes I don't eat like snacks and things in between, sometimes I do. It really just varies. Right now I'm on a very like three meals a day kind of vibe and so that's what I'm doing but it's always changing and let me know if you guys want to see more of these let me know if you enjoy let's just go ahead and get right into it I have my laptop here because I'm literally watching and kind of like narrating as we go but starting on Monday for breakfast this morning I made a little chicken sausage egg kale scramble I just use this chicken sausage from Trader Joe's and I just kind of heat that up on the skillet and then I went ahead and added in my kale just to kind of wilt it a little bit. And then I added in my eggs and scrambled everything together, added a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. This is one of my favorite recipes if I had like a really solid workout and I just want a lot of protein, but I'm trying to get more greens in my diet. I also added a little bit of hot sauce. I also had a pressed juice. I've been trying to do green juice lately just because I like the taste of it, but this one had apple, cucumber, celery, lemon, spinach, ginger, kale, and parsley. And then for a little snack, I just felt like having a honey crisp apple so I cut that up honey crisp apples are my absolute favorites and I just wanted a little bit of protein too so I went ahead and added some crunchy almond butter which is also my favorite and I just had that as a snack while I was working I also had another snack of an ABC bar which is like almond butter and cocoa and so that was my snack I actually felt really full off those things too, so I didn't really eat lunch. Today, I sometimes am bad with like actually eating a lunch. Sometimes I like snack through my lunch, and so this was just one of those days. Because that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. So for dinner, one of my favorite things is just putting together a glass of kombucha in a wine glass. So I had this kombucha from Health Aid, drank that while I was cooking. For dinner, I made homemade salmon patties over kale salad. So this is the recipe if you guys want it. I will have it linked down below for the salmon patties. And then I also went ahead and put together like a simple vinaigrette dressing that I'll also have linked down below. But I made that for the side and it was such a good simple dressing with just things that you kind of already have on hand. So I went ahead and made that, made my burgers, which were really good. I really recommend this recipe. Sometimes it's hard making salmon burgers because they don't stick together, but this one was really good. So I just went ahead and put this together, fried it over the skillet, got everything going. And then I just went ahead and put that over a kale salad. Sometimes a salad isn't enough for me for dinner, but I had actually I think two of these salmon patties so it felt really filling I felt very full after I ate this which was good and I would definitely recommend this salad recipe so for Tuesday for my breakfast I went ahead and just made a coffee, which is something that I actually do pretty much every morning. I just showed it on Tuesday. I just do a little bit of Starbucks iced coffee with a splash of almond milk. And I worked out pretty early this morning. And so I just wanted a banana and one of those ABC bars from Trader Joe's, just like a really simple breakfast for the morning time. And then for lunch, I went ahead and just ate leftovers of that salad, which is one of my favorite things about making dinner at night is just having those leftovers. So I went ahead and put everything together, had another salad. And then I was really craving a sweet treat this day. So I actually found this recipe from Half Baked Harvest for like a banana bread cake in a mug. It was a really simple recipe. I'll have it linked down below again. Takes like 10 minutes to make, really simple. But I just had that as like a little afternoon treat. And this actually kind of filled me up. So again, I didn't do lunch today because I was pretty full after I ate this. But if you're someone who likes sweet treats, 
I'd really recommend this because it is really, really yummy. So for dinner, I've been wanting to make this recipe from Half Baked Harvest. It's like a knockoff of the crunch wraps from Taco Bell. And it was so good. It had like romaine, cilantro. You made a little healthier ranch sauce to go on the side. And then you had your buffalo chicken and cheese. It's almost like a fancy quesadilla. And I don't know if you guys have seen those TikTok trends where you like wrap it a certain way. It was one of those fancy little wraps. So I just made this for dinner and it was really good. I'd highly recommend making it. Again, the recipe will be linked down below. Half Baked Harvest is one of my favorite recipe bloggers online. And so you guys probably know that if you watch my videos, but she's great. So I just made these for our dinner. So then on Wednesday for breakfast, I went ahead and just ate one of these Icelandic style yogurts from Trader Joe's. It was a vanilla flavor. And then I just added in a banana, a little bit of toasted coconut granola. And it was like a really nice kind of like creamy, almost like a banana cream breakfast. It was really yummy. So I just had that. And then for lunch, one of my favorite things is just a classic avocado toast. So I took my favorite multi-grain bread. I believe this is a sprouted bread from Trader Joe's. And I just made my avocado toast, added some red pepper flakes, pepper, a little bit of salt and honey, which is the secret. I know it sounds crazy, but it's actually really good to have like a little bit of sweet, a little bit of salty. So I just had two of those pieces of toast for my lunch. And then for dinner, I actually ate out this night. We had Torchies, which is one of our favorite taco places. I had one of their tacos. I forgot which one this was. I think it was the trailer park one, which is like fried chicken and cheese. And I had a frozen margarita and we had chips and queso and it was so good. If you guys are in Texas, you gotta try Torchies, it's the best. And then on Thursday for my breakfast, I actually made some instant oatmeal. I love these unsweetened instant oatmeals from Trader Joe's. They're really simple to make. I just add some almond milk, add a little almond butter. I also like coconut flakes to give it some texture. And then I just added a banana. I really just filling yummy, easy breakfast for the morning. For lunch, I made one of my favorite salads. It's basically just these veggie burgers that are from Trader Joe's with some baby kale. We had leftover veggies, so like peppers and radishes that I just went ahead and chopped up. Used a little red wine vinaigrette, added avocado, and just had this as a very filling lunch. I love these frozen burgers, they're the best. And then for dinner tonight, I made one of my favorite recipes. They're like a knockoff of the P.F. Chang's lettuce wraps, and we just made it with beef. I really like it with beef. I think it tastes better. So I just made those, again, recipe down below. Very simple, a very easy recipe, especially if you're trying to do like low carb. I think this is a good one. And then I just popped in some of these P.F. Chang's egg roll, vegetable roll that were just frozen to have on the side. I didn't wake up very hungry today. I was working out in the morning, so I just cut up a honey crisp apple and just drizzled some cinnamon. I was kind of doing a earlier lunch, so I just wanted to be kind of ready to eat for that. So then for lunch, I went out to eat with my friend Kenzie and I got a side salad and then also a margarita pizza with a gluten-free crust and it was really good. And then for dinner, I made one of my favorite recipes, which are these meatloaf meatballs. They're from my favorite cookbook, which is the Define Dish Cookbook. I'll have it linked down below. If you need kind of easy Easier recipes that are quick to make. This one wasn't super quick, but I love her cookbook. It's so good. I'll have it linked down below. Like I said, it's just the best. And then we had some green beans on the side and then she makes like a whole 30 mashed potatoes recipe. So we went ahead and made that for the side too. And this is one of my favorite meals because it's just kind of like a home style, really filling. You get your vegetable, you get your carb, you get your protein and it's just really yummy. And so I made this for our dinner and it was so, so good. So that is my what I eat in a week video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, I just really wanted this to be some ideas if you're trying to cook some different recipes, what might be good to add in for the week. Again, all the recipes are linked down below. I'm a big fan of just kind of going on Google and finding recipes that sound good. I'm a big fan of like the healthy-ish recipes and this is just how I eat and what works for me. It's not necessarily what works for you, but a lot of these you can actually modify to fit whatever diet or way of eating that you want to. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you wanna see 
see more of these and also feel free to follow me on instagram if you like more kind of like food content because i'm always posting on there all the different recipes that i'm making and it's kind of a better hub for that if you're interested but yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye friends Bye.